Hey y'all, it is Thread Up Jewelry Day, and today we are going to be opening a mixed jewelry box, which is the supposed to be more curated 15-piece box from Thread Up. Um, I love, as many of you know, opening jewelry, and I have been able to kind of stockpile, I don't know, maybe like six or so mixed jewelry boxes. I'm trying to just open them like once a month so that I have plenty of of content for you guys. So I'm dying to get this one open. This one is coming to us from Phoenix, Arizona, and the receipt is sticking out of the side. So let's pull that real fast. This one I ordered on November 17th, so it has been a minute. And uh, the 15 piece jewelry boxes are $54 plus shipping plus tax. I think I used a credit, I used a bunch of credits from my ThreadUp account last year, so I probably did get a bit of a discount on this one. I am sent out of credits, y'all. <laughs> so any boxes I've been ordering this year, I believe have been at full price. Okay, we'll give you a little peek. Here's the tissue. Let's pull this out here. Let's see what, ooh, y'all, look at the bottom of that box. It's got a big rip in the bottom. All right. And they did package it in one really, really <laughs> large bag. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go through and count the pieces with y'all. We're supposed to have at least 15. And then I'll point the camera down and we will look at the jewelry really closely together. Um, just pointing out jewelry. I've got in the Larimar alpaca earrings that I bought as part of that Shop Goodwill lot that I showed you guys last time. I've got on a little heart kind of, I don't know, it's not really a bolo, but this little Tiffany necklace. I got this from Steven over at Sugar Vision. And I've got on the alpaca cuff that I got from my local thrift. And this gorgeous little kind of charm beaded bracelet that came in a mystery box from Brighton over a Brighton Your Day. So I'm decked out for jewelry today. Okay, let's open this. cracking me up how big this bag is. Let me throw this back in the, um, the box for when we open it under the camera. Okay. And I'm not gonna take close looks at this until we go through it together. We've got one two, three, let's see, four, five, six, seven, what is this monster, eight, whoops, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. So we actually got one extra piece it looks like. Um, I didn't look at anything too closely, although we saw that big old boy, so I don't know what that is, but that looks exciting. I saw a few rings, which makes me really excited, and I do see a hair clip, which also makes me excited. <laughs> so I will point the camera down, we'll go through it really closely together. I will be giving y'all pricing, so if there's something that you're interested in purchasing, you can just send me an email to stinaresells at gmail.com, and I can sell to you directly. All right, let's see what we got. Okay, let's get started. I'm gonna grab the first baggie. Looks like we've got, um, ooh, a little bracelet. Maybe with some like blue cat's eye or something. Oh, this is sweet. We've got a little dolphin bracelet. And in between each of the little dolphins, you've got these little um, like blue cat's eye. Oh, look at that. There is a hang tag. It's certainly magnetic, it looks like. And the brand says Cool Jewels, which I've never heard of. Um, but this is sweet. Let me do a measurement on this just because it looks kind of small. And it does look like it has a magnetic closure, which is pretty cool. So all the way to the closure, it is about a seven inch. <clears throat> and let's see, let's make sure it clasps securely here. So the hang tag is stuck to the magnet. Okay. 
go. So y'all, right now the dogs are sleeping, so hopefully they won't be in and out while I'm filming <laughs> and it won't be so loud this time. Looks like it's pretty secure. I think that's really sweet. Um, if anyone's interested in this one, let's do this one for $6. That's really pretty, it's in good condition. Next up, we have another bracelet. This one looks like a bangle. Really pretty, kind of um, a blush pink enamel. Do just a quick wipe down on it. The outside of the bangle looks like it's in really good shape. Uh, the inside does have some light scratching and needs a good wipe down. We do have a mark there. It says J Crew. Uh, so that's awesome. We already have a branded J Crew bangle. That's awesome. The opening is just at about two and a half inches. And that's nice. Um, for this one, let's say $8. I like that one. I love that color too. Okay, next we have a pair of earrings. And I'm just grabbing in the order that I kind of dumped them in the box. So we'll see what I get to. These are sweet. Oh, they're little like rhinestone encrusted starfish. All right, let's pull the backs off of these. See if we see any sort of markings on them. It doesn't look like it. Let me check the other one. They're in good shape though. Whoops. Uh, no, I don't see any sort of marks. I'll give you guys a close up. They're in great condition. There's the post. Nice. Um, if anyone is interested in these little starfish studs that are so sweet with those little rhinestones, um, let's do those for $5. That's perfect for like the summer. Maybe you're going on like a beach trip. I guess same with that um, dolphin bracelet as well, right? I like those. Okay. Next, we have another bracelet. This one looks like a faux pearl with a silver tone toggle clasp. Let's see, let's check, make sure these are in good condition. There is a little bit of fraying on the hand knotting in between on that one and on this one and definitely on this one. It still seems like it's in pretty good shape. There is some pulling here. Um, again, it seems fine. I think it's threaded through this little spring that they have on the toggle. Uh, let's measure this one. <clears throat> I don't see any sort of branding or anything like that. And this one's also about seven inches. Let's see. Yeah, nice. So overall, I would say in good condition, but you do have a few issues with a little bit of fraying and then a little bit of pulling here at that um, at that clasp. So if anyone's interested in this one, we'll just do this one for $4 because there's a few issues. Other than that, it, it look, it's beautiful. Okay, y'all, let's grab this big one. <laughs> when I pulled that out of the box, I'm like, what is this? OMG. <laughs> Okay, I'm assuming a necklace, but this, I mean, this is a statement necklace if I've ever seen one. Um, look at this, Ooh, got a little fuzz, there we go. Look at this pendant. So I will say, if you guys can see, it does look like the inside is hollow and it's not actually as heavy as you would think it is. This is beautiful. It's got these gorgeous kind of champagne colored rhinestones these little half pearls, and then these other large faceted um, stones in between. That is cool. Okay, gold town chain. We are new with tags, so we'll check out the tag. Um, it says Erickson Seaman. Seaman? Let's see what this says. Beeman. Okay, it's better if you read the tag. <laughs> and this one does say for Target. Not intended for children 14 and under. It does have a retail price of 
So if anyone is interested in this new with tags, um, major statement necklace, let me give you all a measurement. I don't usually measure so many things, but I feel like sometimes with bracelets and long necklaces, you need to kind of know what you're dealing with. This has a 17 inch drop. Now it looks like you can, um, oh no, there's no clasp. I was thinking that this was attached to the clasp, but there's no clasp, but just interested. That's really cool. I like that. All right, next, it looks like we have another big statement necklace. This one also looks to be branded. So we've had a good mix so far of branded and unbranded pieces. Ooh, this one is Kate Spade. Bring that up closer for you guys. Still got the little spade hang there. Nice, okay, so gold tone. Let me get this to lay correctly here with kind of this cream enamel on these little, I don't know, almost like the shape of a like scalloped collar or something. That is really, really pretty. Oh, I love this. Um, let me pull it down a little bit so you guys can see the top as well. Look at that. I love this. Um, I will probably do a Google lens on this one and then put a price on the screen for it. It looks like overall, except for some light scratching on the back, that this one is in excellent condition. Uh, doesn't look to be any wear on the clasp at all as well either. And we can do a total length on this one. Um, but I would imagine it would hang just like a collar necklace. I think this one's really sweet. Okay, so it's going to be a total length of 19 inches. Um, that is including the extender. The extender is about two inches. That one is really, really pretty. Yay, so we got Kate Spade. So we've had Kate Spade, J. Crew, and a couple of other brands that are new to me. Ooh, check these earrings out. Looks like we've got some gold tone triangular earrings. Maybe it's some little amethyst chips on them. Let's see what's up here. Nice. These are really lovely. These look like they're in great shape. They might need a little wipe down right there. We've got these little, what I would assume are amethyst chips on there. I don't have a presidium and they're itty bitty. So it's hard for me to feel if they are super cool to the touch. I don't see any markings on the ear hook here. Um, so unbranded, but these are in great shape. Oh, I love these. Um, if anyone's interested in these, let's do these for, I don't know, $5. I love those. These are really pretty. Okay, happy about that one. <clears throat> let's grab the hair clip. <laughs> I saw that hair clip when I pulled it out. I was like, Ooh, I love hair accessories. This one's lovely. Okay, it's got a tag on it. This I'm going to guess that this might be vintage. Look at that tag. Um, okay, it says Nordstrom, and it had a $38 um, retail price. Ooh, look at how pretty these are. They've got kind of that peacock AB coating on the rhinestones see if this is marked it is it's marked down here at the bottom right there that says SNK not familiar with that maybe it's like a vintage brand I'm not sure um I really want to keep this but I feel like this is going to be too heavy for my hair um if anyone's interested in the hair clip let's say ten dollars for this Oh, that's so pretty. I love that. Okay. Maybe if nobody buys it, I'll try it out, but I just think it's going to be too heavy for my hair. I have such like fine hair. It just things fall right out of it. All right. Next up, it looks like we might have some pearls here on like a memory wire or, um, illusion type necklace. And if y'all noticed, I got my nails done. Aren't they cute? Now I am getting, see, I got a dark color this time because for those of you who watch my channel, you know, I slammed my finger in the door 
and it's still like just so bad like black and blue and all sorts of weird colors so when I went in I said can you do like a dark color to cover this up um my son was insistent I didn't go with black <laughs> he said I was too old for that um so I went with like a charcoal color um but I am swimming laps today later today and anytime I swim nail polish just comes right off so it probably they probably won't be painted for the next one you guys so enjoy <laughs> Uh, we have a two-strand kind of illusion necklace um, with these really sweet pearls. Look at those. Oh, oh, we got a little spot on this one. Yeah, that one will come off. It just needs a little wipe down. They look to be in good shape. It's not marked. Don't think that it's sterling. Um, let's give you a link. Okay, we've got about a nine inch drop. And let's go ahead and just check it for sterling just in case that it might be and it's just not marked since these pearls are beautiful. And um, see what we got here. And you know, sometimes when you get the um, illusion necklaces, the wire is, you know, kind of jacked. But this one's in great shape, so no kinks, um, no bends or anything like that. Well, it might be sterling. I don't want to test the actual wire because I don't want to bend it, but we'll check the clasp. Let's see what happens. Mm, no. Maybe we've got a little bit glowing. Maybe it could be silver plated um, because most of it disappeared and there's just a little bit hanging on that looks like it's uh, turning blue a bit. So maybe, maybe silver plated. If anyone is interested in this gorgeous, look at how light pink those pearls are. They're so pretty. Um, pearl necklace. Um, let's say, I don't know, $15 on this one. I love that. I feel like I have a necklace very similar to this. I love these kind of like neutrals that have that light pink to them. I think they're so pretty. We have a ring, ooh, oh my goodness. Y'all, look at this ring. OMG, this is gorgeous. We've got marks on the inside. Have to see. Let's see. I think it says. I don't know. Let me get my loop. <laughs> I'm trying to guess. It says what I think is H O B Mexico 925. So we have some Mexican sterling. I would guess that this is like a turquoise. Gorgeous. And look at this cute little design here. Y'all, if this was my size. I would be like so in heaven right now, but it looks really tiny. This is sitting right around a five or a five and a quarter. I don't, I mean, you might be able to get it down a little bit because it it is maybe slightly adjustable. You'll have to be careful with that. Um, oh, this is so sweet. Look at that. Oh, I love that. I'm going to do a little bit of research on this one, um, and then I will put a price on the screen for that. Yay, y'all, we got sterling and what looks to be turquoise. I love that one. That is awesome. Yay. We got a ring, and it was awesome. I just love rings. Looks like we've got a little, like, paperclip type chain. Oh, this is cute. Let's see if we see any marks on here. Is that a mark on the bottom of the clasp? Or just tool marks? Nope. Just a little rough here on the bottom of the clasp. You've got this sweet little paperclip chain. Let me give you guys a measurement on it because it looks to be on the shorter side. 
we've got a 14 inch total length with a two inch. Oh, geez. <laughs> I just dropped my tape measure, um, which is not good because that one is super nice. Um, it does look like it may have some slight wear to the gold tone in some of these links. So if anyone's interested in this, we'll just say $4 for this one. I'll give you guys a close up. Nice. Okay. No braiding on that one, but that's okay. Ooh. <gasps> what? We have another ring. Oh, I can't. I'm so excited. Okay. And then here's another ring. Let's save the rings till the end because <laughs> I just love rings. Okay. Let's go with this gold necklace. Ooh, we've got like a flat lay necklace. Let's see what kind of condition we're in because sometimes these get a little crazy. Does look like it may have a few um, little kinks in it, so I will have to mess with it a little bit and see. See if we have any markings. Oh! <gasps> Stop. Does that say 14K? It says 14K and it looks like a number one. All right, let's check the other side. Oh, there's a mark on this side too. You see how it's the chain is messed up though here? Okay, let's see what this one says. C R G. And then the clasp is marked as well. And it says 585. I'll see if I can show you guys this. Right. Get it to focus. Come on, you can do it. It's really tiny there on the little lever. I feel like I'm close to getting a for y'all to be able to see it. It's right there. Okay. So that says five eight five. It's not marked on the other side. Oh, this is awesome, um, but there are a few issues with this chain. So I'm going to have to kind of play around with this a little bit and see for real what kind of issues there are with this one. But you guys, it looks like we got 14K. I will test this one at the end because I've got to go get my 14K acid um, out of the other room. But if we had have gold, you guys... I am already like, feel like we're winning with the name brands and the Mexico 925 turquoise ring. So I'm thrilled. Okay, this is a great box. Um, next, look at this beauty. Okay, so we'll come back to that chain. We'll test it, make sure it's 14 karat. Um, okay, let's see what's going on here. We've got a, ooh, we've got a three, Layer necklace, look how gorgeous that is. Oh, I love necklaces like this. Um, no marks on the clasp. I'm gonna give you guys a close up of these faceted beads. You've got them in all different shades of like pink. Some of them have that AB coating on them. This is right up my alley. Y'all, I'm probably gonna keep this one. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I should offer it to y'all because I feel like I keep a lot of stuff. Um, and then if nobody wants it, I'm going to keep it. Okay, let's see. Oh, I dropped my tape measure. Hold on. Okay. I shouldn't be dropping this, y'all, because this is a Tiffany tape measure. This is like a, one of my favorite purchases that I've made. I bought this from a, another reseller on Poshmark. Um, the first time that I got like obsessed with this was Kristen D was doing an auction from when they went to their, um, I don't know if it's semi-annual or annual flea market and Kyle had picked this up, like one similar. 
and I ever since then I wanted it. Okay, so you've got a drop of 12 inches at the shortest, and the longest is about 14 with a three inch extender. I'm gonna offer this one up for, oh gosh, I really want this. <laughs> um, okay, I but I have so many like this. Okay, I'm gonna offer this up for, we will do this one for $15 if anyone is interested. If not, I'm gonna be keeping this for myself. <laughs> okay. Let's see what we got next. That was awesome. Looks like we've got a little gold tone, little ring on a chain. Let's see what's going on here. Maybe a little bracelet or, wait a minute, what, what is happening here? Okay, we've got a little gold tone ring with these little studs. It looks like the chain is wrapped there and I don't know what is happening here. Um, I don't know. Are we missing a clasp? Am I missing something? I don't know, probably. Um, is this a bracelet? Is this an anklet? Does this attach to something? I don't know what is going on here. So this is what it looks like. And then you've got these two like ends to it. So I'm not sure how it closes. Um, I may have to look this up and get back to you guys on exactly what this is. <laughs> I'm not sure what's happening. Kind of reminds me of Madewell with that kind of matte gold tone finish. Um, so I'll see if I can find something and I'll put some more information up on the screen about this. Maybe it's just user error and I don't know how to work it. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, so our last two items in the box. Y'all, they look like they're kind of matchy-matchy, and they're rings. I just love rings. So maybe we should look at these at like the same time. because They look very similar. These look like they're a larger size, which makes me very excited, because then they might fit me. Okay. So we've got both of these rings, and look, they're very similar. So you've got this kind of metal beadwork here with a purple stone in the center, and then this one's got like a clear one in the center. Okay, let's see if we see any sort of markings on the inside, I do. And let's see what this says. Rings are so hard to read the inside of, I feel like. Okay, so one side right here says 925. And then um, this other side, I'm having a hard time reading. Could maybe be FAS. Let's see, maybe I'll have better luck reading the other one. Here's the 925 on the inside right here. Okay, and then here is the other marking. Maybe y'all can help me read it. Let's see if it'll focus. Here we go. Right there. These are so pretty. Okay, let's see what size they are. <gasps> Yay, you guys, they are my size. Um, different, I have, you know, all my fingers are different size, but nine is my favorite size to wear. Um, and we will test these for sterling to make sure that they are sterling. But, look y'all, oh my gosh, I'm so excited about these. All right, let, let me grab my stone and we will get to testing. Okay, let's do some testing. I grabbed both my stones, um, one to test like for the gold, which we will do, and then um, also the other one to do sterling. Okay, so let's go ahead and start with the gold um, and see if it really is 14K. I'm trying to be careful because Y'all see how kind of twisted up it is there? 
I feel like I have some marks on this stone already. I think it's time for a new stone already, y'all. We'll do both of the clasps. Oh, it's so pretty, it's so pretty. Okay, let's go ahead and get the acid started so it can sit there for a minute. And that's the 14K acid. And then, I love these rings so much, you guys. I'm so excited about these. Um, and I'm not sure, you know, what different stones these could be. I am saving for a Presidium. I feel like I'm doing jewelry enough that I should get one. Um, so we'll see. Hope, once I save up enough, I'll treat myself and, and get one. Okay. So here's the rings. So far, the 14K is holding. And the rings are definitely sterling. Wait, did we test the other ring? Oh, y'all, I got so excited about the fact that these fit me, we didn't even test this one. <laughs> okay, let's test this one as well. Um, let's see. Don't wanna do any damage to the ring. Oh my gosh, this is so pretty. Wish this one was my size as well. That is sterling as well. So three sterling rings. This is holding. So you guys, we got gold. I can't even believe it. Um, if anyone is interested in this gold chain, I'm not quite sure how to price this, especially since uh, there is some damage, it looks like, to the actual chain here. Um, the rest of it does look like it has some different kinks in it and things like that. So if you are interested in this, just send me an email and we can talk about price. But either way, you guys, what a winner of a box. Turquoise, sterling, gold. We got J. Crew hair clip, which, you know, because it's me, I'm super excited about. Let me move these down so you guys can see. <clears throat> we got this gorgeous thing that I'm totally keeping if one of y'all doesn't snag it up. We got Kate Spade. We got this monster of a necklace. Talk about a statement. Let's see. We got a few unbranded pieces. And y'all... We also got pearls. What a great box. Thank you guys so much for joining me today. Let me know what you think of this mixed jewelry box. If you've done one lately, this one was from November. And let me know what you think. Again, if you're interested in purchasing, just send me an email and I can sell to you directly. Otherwise, I will be back on Thursday for a Thread Up Thursday. It's going to be a fun box this week, y'all. So make sure if you're not subscribed to the channel, you do. And I will see y'all later in the week. Bye, y'all.